up beautiful souls and welcome welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel thank you all so very much for joining me here today it's the empress aka kelsey and today we have a beautiful pick a card reading to bring us messages from our person so we have some sensual therapy incense burning and I will have these listed and linked in the description box if I can find a link if not then I'll just um maybe post a website or um whatever I can find okay and we also have some sage burning here to really clear the energy uh so out in front of you here we have four different piles to choose from or four different crystals to choose from uh, and I'm going to ask you guys to take a couple of deep breaths, really ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your guides, and ask which one of these four piles is holding the messages that you need to hear from your person. And here we have uh, pile number one, two, three, and four. And I will have the timestamps listed and linked in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using for anybody who may be uh, kind of called or drawn to any of the decks that I use here today. So with all of that being said, beautiful soul family, go ahead and pause the video if you still need a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose the Paulina Tarot with the blue appetite stone here, this reading is for you. And we are looking at messages from your person. What does your person want you to know? What is your person trying to tell you? What do they want to tell you and maybe don't know how to say? Um, so whatever kind of clarity it is that you're looking for in regards to this person, um, that is my intention for this reading. So group number one, coming into your reading with this blue appetite, there is this essence of your guys' soul kind of incarnating in this lifetime. And having this intention to learn a lot or to have a lot of like your life lessons brought to you through romantic relationships. Um, so there is like this essence of like divine lessons coming through here as well as this kind of um, energy of almost like passive communication. So there may be um, this person that's on your mind here or that you're coming in here. Um, in regards to group number one, I feel like there's some sort of passive communication, regardless of what kind of connection or relationship this is for you. I feel like, um, you know, it could be passive flirting. It could be almost like passive aggressiveness if this is a person that you are currently in contact with and have a relationship with that maybe it's almost like beating around the bush kind of energy, regardless of what kind of situation or relationship this is for you. There is this essence of kind of beating around the bush, like this person is having a hard time getting straight to the point or saying exactly what they think or feel. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your cards, group number one, and go a little deeper into this. Before we uh, pull your tarot, I am going to pull an overall energy um, and what this message is about. And the energy of this connection group number one please we have flirt interesting so we have um extend your light-hearted energy to others so group number one a lot of you guys may have come into this reading wondering whether or not this person likes you and again there's like this almost like this passive this passive communication, like they're kind of flirting, maybe you're not sure if that's really what you're picking up on or or if that's just who they are, or if they're just trying to be nice. Um, I do feel that whomever this is for you, there is um, this essence of attraction, but it's almost like they don't know how to communicate this. And so this person is asking you to like extend an invitation whether this be flirting with them first or just kind of opening that door so that they know that it's not going to get shut in their face interesting um let's pull another card here group number one what does your person want you to know
we have speak only of love. So I really do feel for you, group number one, that regardless of how this is resonating with you or who this person is for you, this person has a hard time with communication. This person has a hard time expressing how they truly feel. It's like they have a hard time communicating their emotional self, um, not so much like their their mind or their ideas or their thoughts. I feel this person may be very, very good at explaining their perception and their point of view and the way they see the world and their views and their ideas, but it's almost like when it comes to love or flirting or any kind of emotional communication, they kind of get hung up. And they want you to know that. They want you to know that they're having a hard time expressing themselves. They want you to know that this is what it is and that it's not that they're not interested or that they're blowing you off. It's that they are trying to deal with their own kind of, um, they're, they're going through a learning process right now, group number one. This person is going through a learning process and how to express themselves honestly and openly. And it's, it's proving to be quite difficult for them. So they're asking for your patience and your kindness uh, and your willingness to kind of maybe take the lead. So it's almost like this person, whomever this is, is wanting you to make make a move. They're wanting you to make a move or to take a first step or to, to make an action. Um, interesting. So let's get you some tarot group number one and go a little deeper into this message that your person has for you. Group number one. We have the four of cups the King of Swords and the Fool, yeah. Um, so this really, really just kind of confirms everything that we were just talking about, the Four of Cups. This person is much better at holding on to their emotions. This person is much better at staying very still within their emotions and not seeking out change or uncomfortable situations within their emotional self. And it's very difficult for them to look at their emotions from a new perspective or to approach their emotional self in a new way. Um, so it's almost like this person's very much so out of their comfort zone. You're making them feel things that is causing them to have to address their own kind of inability to communicate their feelings. Um, it's almost like just your presence is doing this. Um, some of you guys may have already been in a relationship with this person or um, you know, however this works out for you, it may be something that you've pointed out and it may be somebody that you've never even had an a actual like relationship with or somebody that you've just started talking to. Um, but regardless of how that resonates for you, it's like your energy, just being in their presence is causing them to have to address their stagnancy within their emotional self. And then we have the King of Swords here. So again, it's like this person is very good at making decisions. This person is very good intellectually, like they're very good at communicating intellectually. They are very good at listening as well. I feel this person is very good at listening. Um, very brilliant. This person is a very brilliant soul. They have a very brilliant mind. Um, and I feel like they have made a decision that they do want to pursue you in some way, shape, or form, or they do want to, you know, have some sort of connection or relationship with you. Um, I do feel like this person may feel like a relationship or a connection with you may, may cause some kind of rough waters between you and another person, whether this is like between you and friends, or maybe you're currently with somebody that you would have to separate from in order to start new with this person, or maybe there are people in this person's ear telling them that you're not the right person for them. There's just something here where it's like, it feels like this decision that they've made to pursue you or to try to work through their own kind of emotional kind of uh, stagnancy really to in order to pursue you whatever this is it's like they've decided to do this but they know that it's going to rock the boat so it may take them some, some time to really work through this and to approach you um, in the way that you may be seeking that I feel like you, you are seeking group number one um, so there is like this need for patience here 
and then we have the fool so some of you guys this person that you are inquiring about maybe somebody that is completely brand new within your life but it's also for some of you guys somebody that you're being asked to have faith in or to trust that they have the best intentions or for some of you guys this could even be somebody from your past coming back wanting to learn how to start fresh wanting to learn how to start over wanting to reconnect with you in order to do things differently this time and if that's the case for you group number one i do feel like this person is trying to do the work in order to do things differently this time and again there is a need for patience here maybe even forgiveness for some of you guys um Maybe this person is with somebody else that they have to leave in order to pursue you and that may be something that's hanging them up as well because it's almost like if that's the case for you group number one, it's like they know that it's over and they know that this relationship and the kind of emotional connection has come to a halt and they, they recognize that, they've acknowledged that, but they don't know how to kind of approach it in, in the best way. They're trying to find the best way to do this. So it's almost like this energy if they want to do this right. Group number one. Interesting. Or maybe this is you. Energy is fluid. So if you feel that the roles are flipped or reversed, definitely use your own discernment to apply it, how it best resonates for you and your situation. Okay, group number one. Let's pull a few clarifiers here and see uh, what other messages we can get out of this for you from your person so why is the four of cups here group number one we have the ten of wands yeah it's very heavy it's like whatever this is whether this is their own emotional self whether this is um, their current relationship status or like their current responsibilities within their life it's like whatever it is they know that it's come to completion with the ten here the tens are all about completion wholeness they know that it's it's run its course it's come full circle and now it's just very heavy but they still have to figure out how to put it down okay whatever this is whether it's their own kind of healing that needs to occur or somebody else that they are currently dealing with um i do feel for some of you guys that this person may be dealing with a karmic um and they've kind of recognized the cycles and the patterns of this current connection that they're in and it's become very almost boring for them interesting why is the king of swords here group number one so some of you guys i definitely feel group number one some of you guys may be here in regards to somebody who's currently in a relationship with somebody else wondering if um you know the feelings you have are mutual or if maybe they're all made up or um, if you're ever going to have a chance at this and I feel like the answer is yes but there is a need for patience again um, so we have the four of wands yeah coming out under the king of swords this person has made their decision um, sorry this person has made their decision and I feel like they've chosen you um, so whomever here is wondering, like, if this person is going to choose you or this other person, I feel like they've chosen you. Um, I feel like they think that you are a more, kind of, you're going to be a more stable relationship for them. That you're going to bring them more stability, um, more security, and more happiness, and, like, more reason to celebrate love. But again, it takes time to build this foundation. So group number one, there is like this energy here of really needing to take your time with this connection. Even if they are with somebody else and they leave them, like this essence of patience needs to be applied. Even if you are currently starting to build a relationship, you need to, you know, you need to date, you need to take your time with this. You need to like, don't just jump into this relationship and move in with each other and then begin to be each other's husband and wife before you ever even married and like have these expectations of what your life together is going to be like there's really a need for a slow and steady kind of progression within this relationship interesting so why is the fool here the 
eight of wands yeah so this is going to be a very exciting energy and it will speed up for you there's also a lot of attraction here like a lot of um, physical attraction here I feel um, as well as like mental stimulation which may be either yours or this other person's kind of um, like one of their turn-ons if you will it's like there's something here about the depth of conversation about the intellect about the the intelligence um, and and like the depth of topics that you conversate about and things like that that really stimulate and energize and create excitement within this connection um, so you guys could be an air sign or you could be dealing with an air sign <laughs> um, but there's definitely something here about like this this deeper connection it's 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 deeper than just like small talk or like the cute kind of flirting type energy here um, it's like you guys actually talk about life you talk about your dreams and your goals and the things that you actually want to accomplish and your beliefs and the things that you want to experience and what you want to do some of you guys may be um, going on some sort of trip with this person within like the, the next year um, some sort of vacation or adventure um, but with the eight of wands coming out here under the fool it is saying like be very very careful about moving too fast um, because there may be a lot of excitement and a lot of almost there's almost like the sense of urgency about this um, some of you guys may feel like time is running out or like you need to kind of tie this person down before they find somebody else or whatever it is for you there's just this essence of urgency that you're being asked to really kind of maintain and balance out here group number one when it comes to this person but I definitely do see this person coming in this person coming in with conversations with trying to talk to you trying to conversate so if you've been like waiting and wondering if this person's going to text you or if this person's going to call you or if this person's going to reach out i do feel like they will but there's a need to allow them to deal with the things in their personal life that they need to deal with before they're ready to do this um, and for some of you guys, there is an energy here for a few of you where this person may feel scared or intimidated to reach out first. Um, and you may have to make that first move. You may have to start that first conversation and then things may speed up between you as well. So definitely use your own discernment within that situation. Um, but let's go ahead here, group number one, and pull you one final message from your person here. One final message. Any last guidance, advice, actions you should be taking? What does your person want you to know? Group number one, please. Okay, so we have souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together so yeah definitely for some of you guys um this is somebody that you were already with or already connected to in some way shape or form within this lifetime for some of you guys maybe this is like a past life soul connection that is coming back in as you both have been clearing a lot of karmic energy i feel but your guys's souls are very kind of attracted to each other it's almost like a, a magnet a magnet you guys the souls are like really magnetized right now kind of drawing each other in um so it is happening for group number one it is happening just um try to maintain this patience and try to maintain your individuality and your independence instead of diving headfirst impulsively into this connection um and, and losing yourself. I feel like that may be something that group number one maybe has struggled with or a lesson that you're learning in this lifetime is how to maintain your independence and your individuality even in a connection or a relationship. Um, and that's something you're really being asked to be aware of going into this connection. Um, so those of you where this is starting off very slow or this person is with somebody else, there's a need for patience as well in that regard, okay? Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number one. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. 
Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose the runic tarot with the desert rose, this reading is for you and we are looking at messages from your person. So starting off, the kind of energy I'm picking up on coming into your reading group number two is this essence of protection. So this person, um, maybe somebody that makes you feel safe, secure, or stable, or somebody that wants to make you feel that way. I was also picking up on some very intense kind of trust issues. So group number two, either you or this other person or both of you potentially have really dealt with a sense of betrayal or you're currently going through this energy of like feeling very betrayed. Some of you guys may have been cheated on or just experienced things within your life that made you feel like you were betrayed. And this person is coming through here saying they want to, th this person wants to have your back. Um, this person wants to protect you. This person wants to help reinstill like this, this sense of confidence or faith, in, like renew your faith in, in relationships. And interesting. I love that. So group number two, this person that you're, you're inquiring about is somebody who really wants to be your shield. Um, they want to be your strength when you can't be they want to be your protector um they want to fight for you they want to have your back or they do maybe some of you guys are in a current situation where you feel like you need somebody to have your back and this person does um wow okay so before we get into your tarot group number two we're gonna pull a couple of oracle messages to get the overall energy of this person and this connection and what they want you to know right now. So group number two. <laughs> so we have, yes, this is your soulmate. Group number two. This person is somebody that is very significant in your life. Whether you guys have really... Um, you know, kicked things off already or not, whether this is just beginning, whether you just met this person, whether they're just coming back into your life, regardless of how this resonates with you. Um, this person is a very significant part of your life. Um, this person feels like home. And I feel like some of you guys may be asking like if this person feels the same way about you as you feel about them. And I feel the answer is yes. It's just I feel like this this person, regardless of like sex or gender or whatever, I feel like this other person is a divine masculine and you are a divine feminine. And um, there, it's just like different expressions. Um, you guys are in like different expressions, which may be kind of what causes you to question this person wants to prove something to you, um, their loyalty or their respect or their faithfulness or, um, wow. We also have find power in loss. So again, group number two, there's definitely like this essence of feeling hurt, feeling betrayed, feeling like you've lost something or feeling even some of you guys may be feeling like maybe you're not good enough. Um, or maybe you're not, not good enough for love or not worthy. Um, but there's something here where it's like this person wants to come in and help you find your strength, your courage, your bravery to fight this fight. This person wants to fight this fight, this battle, this life with you. Group number one or two. I'm sorry. I keep wanting to say group number one for you guys. So this is a very intense kind of connection, and I feel like for group number two, a lot of you guys knew that this was a significant connection immediately. I don't necessarily want to say love at first sight, but you both definitely had like an activation, um, kind of like at first sight. Um, some of you guys may have even dreamt of this person, or you may dream of this person, or you may even be doing like work with this person in like the astral realms during your sleep time so let's get you some tarot and go a little deeper into this message that your person wants to give you today group number two 
we have the sun. Oh my gosh, you guys, this person is like definitely a masculine. I feel like this person is definitely a masculine. Um, they're also like your, your happiness. Wow. Again, they're going to play a very significant part in your life, in your reality. This is somebody that wants to kind of have their whole, it's almost like they want to have their whole world revolve around you. They want to build a life with you. They, ah, uh, wow. And then we have the Ten of Wands coming out here. Yeah, I really feel like for group number two, you guys, this person is already thinking about like how they can... It's almost like how they can how they can build this life with you, how they can rearrange their life in order to better suit you, how they can so this person is like very devoted to you already, regardless of whether you've been together or not. This person f was very activated by you, very activated by you, very, very, very activated by you. And it's 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 like making them want to rearrange their life to rearrange their schedule like this person is the kind of person that wants to make room for you um so this this may even feel like kind of i don't know almost too good to be true kind of like um it, like the way that this person treats you, the way that this person or the way this person is going to treat you and the way that this person is going to prioritize you may make you uncomfortable, group number two. It may cause some uncomfortable energy. It may be kind of overwhelming for you at times. It may cause you to want to take a step back and be like, whoa, like, you know, don't forget about your life and what you want and don't sacrifice, you know, everything for me. Don't put me above your own kind of reality so that is kind of an energy here this person coming in maybe somebody who's inclined to it's a, I want to say lose themselves in you but I don't feel like it's going to be that way I feel like this person just has a very strong sense of devotion um and then we have the four of swords this is somebody who's going to put your mind at ease. This is somebody that you are not going to be doubting at all. Like, you're not going to doubt their intentions. You're not going to doubt whether or not they're being loyal. This is somebody that you're going to be able to take your gloves off with, group number two. This is somebody that is going to fight for you instead of with you. This is somebody that you're never going... It's, it's almost like there's something here, group number two where you've dealt with a lot of betrayal, you've dealt with a lot of loss, a lot of lost trust, a lot of, like, lost love, almost. And, um, I feel like group number two, you guys may have this tendency to, like, need people to prove their loyalty to you, to need people to prove that you can trust them, and this person is going to do that in a way where you're never going to doubt it. Um, wow. Okay. So... <laughs> Some of you guys may have come in here with a specific person in mind, um, and if that's the case, you know, and these messages are resonating, then it's definitely the right pile for you. Some of you guys may have just felt called to click on this reading, and, and maybe you didn't know why. Some of you guys are working with a soul in the astral realms or, like, energetically that maybe you haven't even met yet. Um... I, I really feel that for some of the people that chose this pile, that this message is coming through, like, from, from this other person's higher self, from this other person's soul. There's, like, an energy of, like, the soul here, group number two, that it's, um, some of you guys haven't even met this person. Some of you guys are just, like, you know, curious about, like, the person, 
um, and that may be what caused you to click on this reading. Um, but there's definitely like energetic work being done, alignment being done here. Interesting. So let's get some clarifiers here, group number two, and see a little bit more about this message that this person wants you to have. So why is the sun here? We have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. So some of you guys are trying to manifest a, a relationship or this person is trying to manifest you. Um, if, if you haven't been trying to manifest a partner or a relationship or um, even for some of you trying to call like your Divine Masculine back to you, maybe you've been in a twin journey. Um, this wish uh, for love and for like this soulmate is coming true. Um, why is the Ten of Wands here? We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, you guys have been hurt before. You guys have been, you, I feel like you guys are currently in this energy of like, leave me and mine alone. I got my own back. I'm independent. I'm on top of my own. Um, I take care of my own. Some of you guys may even be divorced. Or have recently went through a breakup. And it's like, it's almost like the universe is cutting away things that are keeping you separated from the soulmate. Wow. Some of you guys dealing with some karmic energies that needed to be balanced, whether it be karmic relationships or just karmic energies that your soul needed to um, take care of or release or heal before you come into um, true union with this person. Um, but that's definitely happening. So some of you guys have really experienced some very heavy energies recently, regardless of how that came through for you, whether it was a breakup or divorce or uh, separation or, or losing a job or, um, you know, cutting away or outgrowing certain people or however that resonates for you. A lot of you guys have dealt with some very heavy energies and, and been doing a lot of kind of releasing, whether it was something you wanted to release or not. There's been a lot of letting go here in order to align you to this soulmate. And then we have the High Priestess coming out under the Four of Swords. So this is somebody that you... Just the sense of trust that's coming in from the soul is amazing to me. Um, and it's also like with this High Priestess here, like I'm getting this energy of like, I can feel you. Like this person, some of you guys may have like a very telepathic connection or empathic connection. Like you can feel this person's intentions. You can feel this person's love in a way that maybe you've never been able to before. But there's definitely like some, definitely some energetic communication happening between you and the soul. There, there is no denying that. Um, so some of you guys, this is like while you're sleeping or this is kind of like behind the scenes with the high priestess here. Maybe you're not even aware of it, but maybe you're aware of all the changes that are happening in your reality. And I feel like that's very much so due to the soul that is coming in here. So let's pull one final message from this person for you, group number two. One final message for group number two, please. Okay. So we have here, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So I feel like this person, especially with the high priestess here, this person is saying like, you can find all of the answers um, that you're seeking currently within yourself. There's a need to be able to trust yourself before you're going to be able to trust anybody else. So this person's higher self is asking you to kind of work on that, work on trusting yourself, work on the internal work that maybe you need to do to heal from something that you've been experiencing like disturbances with. And, and there's definitely, like, this essence of, like, really needing to trust, like, the vibes that you're getting from people right now, group number two. So, like, your empathic abilities or just your intuition telling you certain things about certain people. For some of you guys, it could be your shadow pointing out certain shadow aspects in other people. However, this is coming through for you. This person is saying, like, trust what you're picking up on in regards to the people that are surrounding you at this time. 
okay? But this is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number two. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my lovely group number three, those of you that chose the Deviant Moon Tarot with the Selenite Heart, this reading is for you, and we are looking at a message from your person. So group number three, coming into your reading, there's two things coming in, and they're kind of contradictory, um, which is interesting. We'll see how that plays out. Starting off, um, there was a very strong energy of like agitation or irritation um, coming in here. So some of you guys may be dealing with maybe some anger, um, some resentment, some kind of denser emotional um, energies like that, or this person maybe. There's also a sense of clarity coming in here as well as encouragement. Um, so some of you guys um, may have somebody in your ear or this person may have somebody in their ear telling them like what they should do or who they should be with or what they should say. And there's also like this essence of your energy encouraging this person to to change or to do better or to raise their vibration or to heal or to pursue something. So a few different messages coming in here, uh, maybe different messages for different people or just a lot of different energies that maybe you're dealing with. This is a general reading, so apply it how it resonates for you. Um, but let's go ahead here, group number three, and get into your reading. Before we get into your tarot, I'm going to pull a couple of cards here, group number three, to get the overall energy of the connection between you and this person and, and the overall energy of the message that they want to convey to you at this time that you're watching this. So group number three, please. Okay. We have uh, codependency coming out here. And flirt also fell out underneath of it. And I feel for a lot of you guys that that flirt energy may be, it's almost like a nervous energy coming out underneath of this. Codependency though, we have addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person is coming through here saying that they know they need to change. They know that changes have to be made. They know that... So I, I'm getting a strong feeling here for group number three that you guys have been in a relationship with this person already and that maybe you've just recently separated or um, maybe you're having a hard time letting go of this person or maybe you're trying to work through some things. Maybe there's been like counseling. Maybe there's been um, even some sort of incarceration for some of you that kind of caused this person to be separate from you um, and potentially even from other people in general um, maybe rehab incarceration uh, maybe even like hospital stays or um, just kind of hermitage energy um, that really caused almost like enlightenment for this person for them to be able to see their own codependent energy and be able to see what needs to change. So I do feel for group number three that if somebody is coming back into your life or trying to connect to you and tell you or offer um, a po an apology and try to tell you that they are going to change, it's like this time is actually true. Um, this time there's actually like a, a true acknowledgement of the problem anyways. Um, interesting. And, you know, for some of you guys, this could be, like, substance abuse. There could be anger issues. Um, this could be, like, more emotional codependency, um, things like that. So, again, general reading. So, apply it how it resonates for you. But I definitely, there's definitely a sense of, like, irritation, aggravation, anger, resentment, almost like bitterness. 
coming in here. Some of you guys may have came into this reading wondering if this person will ever actually change what this person's intentions are this time since they're reaching out to you again potentially. I mean, it's, there's something um, there's something being activated within this person. There's definitely enlightenment and clarity coming in for this person, allowing them to see, allowing them to see themselves. And I feel like it was kind of provoked by a period of being separated from you, um, whether it was voluntary separation, whether it was. Whether it wasn't. <laughs> so let's pull another card. We have remember your true self here. Interesting. Yeah, so I really feel for a lot of you guys that chose this pile, there is this essence of like, really coming out of codependency. So some of you guys may be coming into contact with somebody new or it may be a new connection or a new person that you're um, coming into this reading kind of for this message from. Um, however this resonates for you, some of you guys, this may be somebody coming into your life that's going to help you gain independence, that's going to help you break addictions, that's going to help you find who you really are, that's going to help you find your true self. For some of you guys, you're helping somebody else do this. Some of you guys may even resonate with like wanting to be uh, an, an addiction counselor or working in a rehab or maybe you're just kind of the person that like your friends or family come to for advice or for your opinion. Somebody's coming to you for advice, for guidance. Um, and I feel like that's this person that's coming through here, whether it's somebody that you're already connected to, somebody that maybe you had a fallout with. Um, somebody that maybe you had a romantic relationship with that you've separated from or that you're kind of like on hold or on a break or that so it's somebody that has directly impacted you with their actions um, coming back in and activating not only themselves in their own healing but also activating you into maybe even like a life purpose and, and a recognition of your true self here. Wow. So very powerful activations and enlightenments coming from some very heavy energies. Group number three. Wow. So let's get you some tarot. Group number three. And go into the, deeper into this message from your person. So we have the hanged man. Yeah, there's definitely a perception shifting here. There's like this essence of things coming to a complete halt, to a complete stop in order to be able to change the way you're viewing it or to change the way you're seeing things um, or to change the way they're seeing things. It's almost like I'm seeing this as, as your person being kind of hung up, being halted, being stopped, being held down, being incarcerated or in rehab or in some sort of situation that caused them to have to stay still, that caused them to have to reflect. And we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah. Um, so this person may have been somebody that was very defensive when it come to um, really acknowledging this kind of energy. They may have been very defensive, um, very kind of rejecting to this this information any other time that maybe you tried to bring it up or that anybody tried to address this or talk to them. Um, or ask them about it, they may have become very irritated or angry even or defensive or um, even kind of bitter or spiteful. And then we have the Empress coming out here. Wow. So 
group number three, your person's coming through here saying they are recreating themselves. Um, they are, are healing. They are nurturing themselves. They are learning how to rely on their own self instead of needing you to fix them or to fix it. Um, a lot of you guys, this was maybe a relationship that you were in that was very um, almost toxic or that was very narcissistic. However this comes through for you, group number three, it's like this person that you're asking about is going through a healing process. Um, they, they've they seen themselves. They've seen, it's kind of like their first, their uh, major recognition of their own shadow energies that they've been suppressing or hiding or running away from. Um, they're going through a process of integrating that into their reality and into their perception, into their life. And through this group number three, they are taking accountability for a lot of the actions that they've taken in the past, however that resonates for you. And it's like with the Empress here, it's like now they're willing to put the work in. Now they're willing to change. Now they're willing to grow. Interesting. So let's get some clarifiers here, group number three. This person may have um, some issues with their, their mother or with a mother figure within their reality. Um, and that may be part of kind of their healing process that they're going through is a recognition of where a lot of their codependent energies stem from. So under the hanged man here, we have the devil. Yeah, see, when they were forced to sit still, regardless of what caused them to sit still, they began seeing their own habits, their own <laughs> addictions, their own, like, what tempts them, what causes them to fall into this energy of greed or maliciousness or dishonesty or whatever it is that that this person kind of falls into um they're they're seeing their own patterns group number three which is a beautiful recognition it's a very hard process to go through but it is very healing um and it's almost um, kind of like a soul contract for this person to have to go through this process now whether or not this means that you guys will end up in a better relationship or connection or anything like that. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, a lot of you guys may have come to this reading to see if this person that you separated from is okay, if they're doing okay. The answer is yes, but they are going through a very intense, difficult period of enlightenment and recognition of self. Under the Seven of Wands, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's this person wants to come through and put your mind at ease. Um, this person wants you to know that they're okay. This person wants you to know that they no longer want to fight or argue. Interesting. And under the Empress, here we have the King of Swords. Yeah, they've learned a lot. Group number three, this person has learned a lot. This person has learned a lot about themselves. This person has learned a lot about why they do the things that they do or what caused them to take the actions that they took. They've learned a lot about the patterns and, and kind of like their subconscious patterns. They've learned a lot about their attachments and their addictions and why they get so attached um, to certain things. This person wants you to know that even though right now they may come off as cold or bitter, they're, they're, they're in a process of detaching from all of the chains that they've been attached to in order to attach themselves to better, healthier, you know, more high vibrational energies and habits and patterns. So there is a need for you to know that right now they are kind of in this transitional phase um, that may cause them to seem very detached, um, which may be kind of provoking some sense of worry. But this this person is coming through here saying that 
Like, they want you to know that they're okay. Um, they may need time. They may need space, depending on your situation and how everything happened or, or who this person is to you. Um, but, but they are, like, being proactive about changing and about healing and about taking accountability. There's definitely something here about this person taking accountability or responsibility for the actions that they took. And if you find that this reading isn't resonating with you, group number three, some of you guys here may be like, well, I have no idea what this is. Um, maybe try to choose a different pile because this seems like a very specific energy coming through here that somebody needs to hear. So let's go ahead and pull you one final message from this person, group number three. One final message from this person, from your person, group number three. We have adventure awaits, go find it. So I feel like this person is saying, like, right now isn't the time to wait around for them. This person wants you to live your life. This person wants you to go find yourself. A lot of you guys here may have had a very codependent, emotionally codependent relationship or a toxic, almost narcissistic relationship that had the this cycle and these patterns of, of abuse and, and toxicity and then healing and, and, like, it was a roller coaster of emotions. And it's like this person really wants you to go find yourself. This person wants you to go find your purpose. This person wants you to go find your healing that you need. Don't wait around for them. Not saying that those of you that are seeking for this person to come back or wondering if you're ever going to be back together. I'm not saying that you're not, but at this time, at the time that you're watching this video, group number three, this person wants you to go find yourself while they work on themselves. Um, yeah, so... That is what I'm seeing from a beautiful group number three. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my lovely group number four, those of you that chose pile number four with the ghosts and spirits tarot, along with the raw fluorite here, this reading is for you, and we are looking at messages from your person. So coming into your reading, group number four, tapping into the energy of this for you guys, um, there is a couple of things coming through here. One of them is like this essence of of needing balance, needing to maintain or achieve balance in some way, shape, or form. And there's also this sense of almost like mental obsessiveness coming through here, whether this is from your person or from you. And I feel for a lot of you guys that this may kind of be related to where this balance needs to come in or um, it, this balance could just be kind of something that's happening for you. You guys could be going through some karmic balancing um, but there is a sense of, like, obsessive energy here. Um, and it doesn't feel, like, malicious or, like, negative, really, but consuming in the sense where maybe you can't think about anything else or this person can't think about anything else or it's taking up too much space. Um, however this is resonating for you, however this comes through, as it is a general reading, so apply it how it resonates. Whatever is taking up too much space within your mind, within your thoughts, within your reality... Um, either it's this person or that's what this person wants to talk to you about today. So let's go ahead here, group number four, and see. Starting off, we are going to pull a couple of oracle cards to get the overall energy of this message and of this connection to this person for you. Um, and then we'll get into your tarot. So group number four. Group number four, a message from your person for group number four, please. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. You've known each other before. 
um, and f that feels very significant for this group. Um, but yeah, so for a lot of you guys, this person may be somebody that you're just connecting with or somebody that you're connecting with again. Um, however this comes through for you, it's like this person is consuming like your your life. Um, and like I said, with true love here, it doesn't feel malicious, but it does feel like there is a need to regain or maintain balance, okay? Um, so like not spending every waking second with this person um, and neglecting the rest of your life, the rest of the things that you are maybe obligated to or responsible for. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like it could be affecting like your work life in some way, shape or form. Interesting. Or you may have met this person um, at your job, um, which may be causing distractions in the workplace. Um, interesting. So let's pull another card here. I just, I just kind of saw like the, the old kind of flower petal, he loves me, he loves me not kind of thing happening. And so some of you guys may have come into this reading wondering if your person uh, feels the same about you as you feel about them. Um, and the answer is yes. Um, it is, it is love. Some of you guys may have experienced a lot of a lot of different kinds of relationships that have made you question what love truly is or, or whether or not you're even able to identify love. Um, whatever this is, this person, this is true love for you, okay? We have find power in loss and interesting. Um, so this card came out in another pile. So if you were drawn to another reading in this, another pile in this reading, um, there may be other messages for you. There's something here where it's like maybe some of you guys have felt very empty or like there's been a missing piece in your life because this, this soul is kind of like a part of you, especially if you guys have incarnated in multiple lifetimes to be partners or to find each other. I feel like this person is somebody that you guys um, work with on a soul level and you have worked with on a soul level over multiple lifetimes and it's like always kind of a mission to find each other um, in the 3D reality. And uh, until you do, it's almost like there's always this piece missing. There's always discontentment almost um so it's almost like this person is your balance for a lot of you guys as well wow all right so let's bring you um some tarot group number four and go a little deeper into this message from your person what your person wants you to know what they want to say to you group number four please so we have the tower wow we have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, um, so with the Tower here, um, it's almost like this person, if you haven't met them yet, um, they're really, it's going to be a very unexpected relationship or connection that comes into your re reality. Very, very unexpected. For some of you guys, or for a lot of you guys, I feel like you've met this person um, and, and it, this person is a catalyst for you, regardless of when or how you meet this person, they are a cat catalyst for you. They come in and they shake things up. They cause you to question your reality. They cause you to question the life that you've been living. A lot of you guys, this is a twin flame. And, and I, I'm, I've really been trying not to, um, you know, say that or say that as much or like really been, um, very aware of, how, how I um, kind of include that in my readings because just because I felt like I needed to. Um, but this, this really does feel like somebody that you are meant to be on a journey with and they are a cataclyst for you. And, and they are somebody that's going to come into your reality and cause everything to change.
and even like for some of you guys like cause it, it may be perceived as like negative change like it may cause you you may lose your job you may lose your home you may lose a marriage or a partner that you're already committed to um interesting we also have the nine of cups coming out here this person is everything that you wish for and you are everything that they wished for like you are this person you are this person's dreams you are this person's wish come true wow but it's like it feels very unexpected so regardless of like what your current status is or or what your current situation is, whether you're in a relationship or married or not looking or whatever it is, um, still healing from the last relationship, it's, it, this is going to take, this love is going to take you off guard. This love is going to be very unexpected. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm getting this, the, that, that phrase, like, it, kind of like you, you're going to fall in love when you least expect it or when it's least expected. Um, or when you stop looking for love is when you find true love. Like, that's what's happening here. And then we have the Ten of Swords. And so, group number four, what I really feel with this Ten of Swords is that when this tower falls down, it's going to bring a lot of things into completion. A lot of a lot of mental energy there's a, a mental aspect to this um so so this may cause like some some like kind of like some mental patterns to be revealed in order for them to be healed in some way shape or form group number four but there's also like the sense of this tower falling down and bringing you closure to other parts of your life in order for you to make space for this new love. Um, as well as I feel like group number four, you guys are the kind of people that sacrifice your, your wants, your dreams, your desires in order to make your partner happy. And you're no longer going to have to do that with this person. This person wants you to know that that is not an option. You giving up on yourself or on the things that you desire or the things that you, you like your dreams is not an option with them. Wow. So let's go ahead here. I love that we have find power and loss with the tower here because it's like it's there's it's almost like there's going in the ten of swords even like there's so many things that are coming to a close so many things that are falling down so much change and almost chaos that's going to be happening around you group number four but it's like it's going to be so liberating so freeing for you and maybe some of you guys didn't even realize that you were feeling so heavy or feeling so almost constricted or or that you needed this freedom but there's like a, a strong sense of freedom of liberation and of a weight being lifted as all of these um things begin to transform for you so let's pull some clarifiers here group number four and go a little deeper into this message why is the tower here we have <laughs> we have the two of cups This person's calling you in. This person is 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 like manifesting you. This person is wishing for love. This person is looking for love. This person is I, not even so much looking for love. This person is ready for love, and that it's causing your souls to kind of align to each other, and that alignment is causing this shift in your physical reality. It's causing changes to happen in order for you to have room for this love, this two of cups, this commitment, this promise, this, it's a like soul contracty type energy here. Wow. Under the nine of cups, we have the ace of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person 
is going to make you see how small all of these things are in your life. Like, this person's bringing in a strong sense of mental clarity, like clearing out some sort of confusion that you've been dealing with here. And again, there's like this mental aspect coming in here. This person is bringing in some sort of truth, potentially, or, or some of you guys may be revealed some sort of truth um, that may cause this tower to fall down, like an unexpected truth that, and that may be kind of the cataclyst to align you to this person if you haven't met them yet. For some of you guys, you have met this person and you do feel that pull, um, and maybe as you begin to interact with them or, um, maybe there's like energetic exchanges happening that is going to reveal something to you that's going to allow you to let go of certain things in your life. There's, it's, there's going to be no more confusion. Um, however, this is resonating with you. Um, and then we, under the Ten of Swords, we have the Chariot. Wow. Yeah, so there's a lot of movement. A lot of changes, a lot of shifting. A lot of you guys may find that you have to find a new place to live. Um, there's just like a whole sense of like clutter being moved, of of just letting everything fall down that you've been trying to hold on to for so long. Um, Some of you guys, I am picking up, some of you guys may find that somebody that you were close to or somebody that you thought was committed to you or somebody that you thought you loved has kind of been betraying you in some way, shape, or form, and that may be kind of what is aligning you to this new true love. That's not for everybody. So don't allow it to scare you or cause you to think that that's going to happen in your life. If it's happening for you, a lot of you guys, the, the ones that that is for are the ones that already know that they're being, for some of you that you're being cheated on, for some of you that you're being lied to, for some of you that somebody's like holding back their truth or whatever it is, you already know, um, deep down inside, you already know, but it's like, it's coming to the surface in order to kind of be a cataclyst for this tower moment. You guys, this this person wants you to know that this tower moment is going to be liberating and create freedom in order for you guys to be able to connect to each other. So let's pull you one final message, group number four. One final message, any last guidance, advice... Anything else that your person wants you to know? Group number four, please. Some of you guys, some of you guys are in a committed relationship that you don't know how to leave and it's caused you to be unfaithful and somebody may be finding out. But our message here is all you need to believe in, all you need is to believe in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So for a lot of my group number four, all you need is to believe in yourself. You don't have to have all of the answers. You don't have to have everything organized and in place. All you need is to believe in yourself, to believe in your magic, to believe you can do this. Um, so a lot of my group number fours, I feel for a lot of you guys here, you're currently in a connection that you're feeling called to leave, but maybe you don't feel like you're going to be able to support yourself or you don't feel like you're going to be able to take care of yourself on your own or you feel like you're obligated to this person or you feel guilty because this person has put so much time or energy or effort into you. Um, and, and this person coming through here wants you to know that you just have to believe in yourself. You are capable of independence Group number four, you are capable of independence. But there is like a strong sense of confusion or lack of clarity. Um, a lot of mental energy kind of swirling around here that this person 
is acknowledging and they want you to know that it's okay to take your time to do the things that you need to do to move through the processes that you need to move through. Um, so don't feel like you have to rush for somebody else or feel like you have to do certain things based upon what somebody else needs. So really maintaining your independence here is super, super important for group number four, okay? Um, but this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!